was told the purpose of all the girls. Hi guys. So today I'm going to show you how I did the Polaroids for Summer's Masterpiece Lyric video. Over here, as you can see, I already made some compositions. So we have a main comp and Polaroid and we have some footages that we can use. So having our Polaroid composition open, we will create a new solid. So I'm going to choose like a whitish kind of color and using the rectangle tool just draw a rough shape of the Polaroid and another one inside and this will be where our photo will go. Duplicate it and then delete the first mask so that just the photo frame is left. Next, we're going to choose our footage. So I have one of Summer and I just jamming out and an Iceland landscape and by the seaside, this is a time lapse. So I think I'm gonna choose this one because uh, it is already made to be a seamless loop. So in order to extend that, we're going to right click time, enable time remapping. And then we're going to zoom in go back one frame and keyframe that. Delete that last frame and alt click the stopwatch, go to property and loop out. Drag this out and it should work. Okay, great. Next we're gonna scale it down so we can fit it into our photo. Okay, roughly and drag this down one layer under the Polaroid photo and, and then we're going to track mat this, alpha mat. Okay, so because we, it's quite flat right now, so I'm gonna give it more depth. We're gonna go to effects and presets, type in drop shadow, put that on the Polaroid, can't see it right now, so just toggle off the uh, transparency and then put whatever shadow. Okay, then we're going to go to layer new and solid and find a darker shade and use the pen tool to roughly. Uh, Draw out a shape for another shadow and then go to blending modes and multiply. Then go to the masks and feather it out. Okay, I'm not really happy with the color right now, so I'm going to go layer solid settings and change that. Then I'm gonna do some highlights. So layer new solid again. And this time I'm gonna draw like a little blob up here. And find color dodge. Okay, wow, that is pretty intense. So I'm gonna knock that down the opacity. And then Feather the mask. Now you can kind of see the highlight and shadow leading out of the photo. So we can just hit this, which is the preserve underlying transparency. There you go. Right. Now we're going to go into our main comp and create a background. So maybe like a light blue would be nice. Okay. And then drag in our Polaroid. Again, looking really flat. So we'll turn these into 3D layers. And then we're gonna go to layer, new and add a camera and a light. 
So we want that as a spotlight. Okay, so to adjust the light, I'm gonna switch to two views and make sure that this is on custom view. Drag it back a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to animate the Polaroid. So I think it's a bit too big. I'm gonna scale it down. And from my Lyric video, the Polaroids were uh, rotating slightly, uh, continuously. So in order to do that, we're gonna find rotation and we want the Z and we are going to do an expression wiggle. As you can see, it's wiggling nicely, but it, it's just a bit too smooth. It doesn't really have that stop motion feel. So we can go back in and do posterize time, six, and there you have it. Now I want to uh, make this Polaroid come in from off the frame. So I'm going to go to position, and then drag this out. And again, it's just coming in a bit too smoothly. So we can alt click the stopwatch, posterize time, and wiggle. Okay, oop, <laughs> something went wrong there. And that was when I realized that I needed another strategy. And uh, the reason I think is because of the 3D layer, and I just don't know why it does this. So in order to resolve this problem, I created a null object. So we're just gonna have to delete all of this first. Go to layer, new, null object. And then parent our art layer and lock it. So now we can go to position and change that. And then I'll click the stopwatch, type in the same values. It's working now, uh, but maybe it's coming in a bit too choppy so I'm going to put this as 12 and let's have a look. Okay, that's much better. Great. So now I'm going to show you how to uh, put in the other clips. So I'm going to add a new folder, Polaroids, and rename this one as the beach. Duplicate that and let's do the one with Summer and I. Okay, double click that and then find the footage and put it in. Find where you want it to cut. <laughs> okay, so for this one, how I want it to be looping is, I think I'm just gonna reverse the clip. So, duplicate that, sorry. And then right click time and time reverse layer. Put these two at the start and I'm just gonna pre-compose that. I'm going to make a new folder for pre-comps. I'm going to go into this pre-comp and just trim comp to work area so then we can extend this. So remember our time, enable time remapping, hit the keyframe there, 
no need for that one. I'll click the stopwatch, property, and loop out. And then we're just gonna replace this one with the beach, so track mat, alpha mat. Scale it down. Then we're going to duplicate this and make the Iceland landscape. Okay, drag in our footage. Scale it down and so I like how it's just slowly rotating and we can work with that. So I'm just going to cut maybe from here to here. And in order to make this looping, we want the end to be the same continuation as the beginning. So I'm gonna go into the middle and cut that. This will be our new beginning and this part here will be our new ending. So I'm gonna drag that there. Then we're going to fade it by changing the opacity. It was a bit too sudden. So I'm going to keyframe the position of this. So keep this position here. And then I'm gonna shift this and try to match up as close as I can. Okay, it is a little bit better. Going back to our main comp, if I wanted to swap out this Polaroid, but yet keep all the animations. So what we can do is we click our artwork and let's say I wanna swap it out for Iceland. So I'm gonna drag this and hold Alt and release. All right, so I can also do that with Summer as well. Okay, so that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and uh, yeah, bye.